Alright, what's going on guys? It is Super here, and welcome to another Mortal Kombat X character tutorial video. And today we're going to be talking about one of the absolute best characters in the game, Tremor. And before I start talking about the, you know, all about Tremor, I just want to mention that if you guys have missed any of my previous tutorial videos on any specific character or the absolute basics of Mortal Kombat X, if you guys are new, Make sure you guys uh, check them out in the playlist linked in the description. All the videos are in there, so check them out. See what you like. But now let's get started here talking about Tremor. Um, Tremor has so many tools. Like, you can't say enough about how many tools this character actually has. And he, believe it or not, he was actually even better before. Like, he was ridiculous before. He's good now actually he's amazing now he was like god tier before and um you know one of the biggest reasons i'll talk about it a little bit later on in the video but let's start with um with tremor's pokes so this is best poke right here it's not bad or it's not like really good but it's not bad either let's see down one is nine frames uh it's surprisingly i don't know if it's actually nine frames it feels like it's faster because you know i'm able to counter poke people really well with this and uh, this could be really annoying. It has some good range, as you guys see here. Really good range. And, uh, you know, so overall, like, down one is what you want to use for counter poking. What's this down three? Ooh, down three is 11 frames minus one. Why don't people use this more? That's actually very good. Oh, okay. It has no range. If you're close, though, um, you know, on, like, wake up and stuff, you can definitely do that. But the thing that is actually very good about Tremor is it's down four. His down four has like its own hitbox. You know what I mean? Like, look at this. It, like, Tremor's not the one hitting you. It's actually like the ground. So this is like separate from Tremor's hitbox. So you know this has a lot of range. It's really good. What is it on? It's plus 21 on hit. Do this, you go in for your pressure. You know what I mean? Like, you do anything after that. So really good. Down four, use it. Down four and down one, in my opinion, the best ones. You could actually cancel that into, you know, anything. And those rocks are one of the big reasons why this guy's so good. But we're not talking about that right now. Um, his standing two. This right here used to be a fucking mid. Can you believe it? This right here, this, used to be a mid. Like, that's one of the nerfs that they gave him because this used to be... Look at this range. There you go. That's some pretty good range for a 10 frame mid that leads into, you know, 30 plus percent combo. So this used to be a mid. Uh, this was like the big nerf. And this is why he used to be like God tier because this used to be a mid. And, you know, Tremor has a lot of strings that leave you plus, And this was pretty much guaranteed. Um, so, you know, this is a high now. So you can actually neutral duck it. Um, I don't think Tremor has any really good mids anymore because this right here is forward one is his best punish and this is a high as well. So a lot of times what I like to do against Tremor players is I like to just poke a lot because I want to challenge their execution um, because if they're not fast with it, they're going to get poked out of you know any of their like big combo strings. This is the only mid right here and this is 19 frames, right? Back one. Yeah, back one is 19 frames, so it does have a good amount of range, but, you know, 19 frames can get beat out by a lot of things. So this right here is 10 frames. It's a high. This right here is 7 frames, right? Forward one. 7 frames high, so if you do want to challenge Tremor players, definitely, um, you know, do so with down pokes. And if you see that their execution is pretty good or they start adapting, then, you know, definitely stop doing it because if Tremor gets a hit on you that's a lot of damage that he could do so that's enough of that um i think those are his best moves right back three the low right here this is actually a true block string which is pretty nice to have and it's off a low starter um of course this is unsafe you know that's unsafe uh, if you try to do that, that has a gap in it. Pretty much every like move that Tremor does into the overhead punch has a gap, and I'll talk more about that in a bit as well. Uh, but the low, it's not bad. Like especially in the corner, uh, with this, this could become really, really scary. So, you know, uh, back three, standing two, forward one. Use all of your tools with Tremor because he has so much. Uh, of course, down four. Look at the range. Look at the range. Look at the range on that. 
Okay. Uh, let's go to his combo strings now. Like, his big punish combo string, or like if you're, you know, if your opponent does a move that's um, punishable on block, like use forward one. Forward one is a good punish. Forward one into overhead. And that's 28% plus 13 unbreakable. Tremor hits like a tank. He hits hard. And uh, I'll talk about this. Actually, I'll talk about it right now because it's self-explanatory. Uh, if you end your combos in a move that puts you at enough um, hit advantage, this is guaranteed. They can't do anything about it. They can't uh, quick get up. They can't tech roll. They can't do anything about it. So if you always end your combo in this or this, and whenever you do that, if you have a bar meter, that's 13% guarantee that they cannot do anything about it. They can't armor through it like sub-zero can armor slide through it nothing like they have to take this 13 percent so that's one of the strongest thing that that tremor has because if you get this that's 28 percent plus 13 unbreakable really fucking good man so strong another string that people actually like to use uh for pressure is uh two one down four up four into straight punch and that actually has no gaps in it so that means that your opponent cannot armor re reversal through it and uh if you guys want to know more about gaps uh i covered it in like the basic mortal kombat video along with like other stuff that i'm going to be talking about here so apologize if you don't understand uh but one thing that a lot of people use online that is kind of predictable is they go with um, the regular 2-1 down 4 into overhead punch and that you know you could easily see that and react to it you could also armor through it so you know definitely if you're gonna do the overhead punch or um, you know if you just want to pressure definitely do the full string into the straight punch because it actually does a good amount of chip it builds you a good amount of meter and it's um, you know it has no holes in it there's no gaps in it so that's uh those are pretty much like the two main strings that tremor players like to use this one right here um of course this uh forward one two one is actually plus two on block so that's very very good it makes tremors down one uh what's this down one again it makes tremors down one seven frames so if you the only way you could actually beat it out is if you have a six frame poke, which not a lot of characters have. So, you know, let's just, for example, use Kung Lao here. Kung Lao does not have a six frame poke. All right, I'm gonna record Tremor doing his, his stuff right here. All right, I'm gonna try to do down one. And as you guys see, he's beating my down one because his down one turns into seven frames after that string because that string is plus two there you go so that's one positive about it um let's go back to tremor man i'm not doing this on kong lao <laughs> all right blocking's off um this is plus two uh this is plus two like just finishing or not finishing the string uh just doing forward one two is plus two as well um the full string into straight punch has no gaps at all, uh, so that's good as well. Of course, you could hit confirm it into the overhead punch, leads to you know 28% damage. So these are the main strings that you're gonna want to use. If you do hit confirm that, you could do the up. Oh, you actually cannot do the up one. Yeah, you can't do the up one. You can do the up one on this one. Like if you hit confirm. Um, or if you can't hit confirm the second hit, you know, just wait till the third hit, do the up one, and, uh, you know, you're, you're still gonna get, you know, some really good damage. I'm just trying to figure out some problems here. There you go, it's just a simple 23%, or you could, uh, you know, do that. All right, so those are like the main strings. Of course, you, you do want to use the low because it is a low, but that's more like reserved for the corner. You know what I mean? Because it gets a lot scarier in the corner with your up rock. So let's talk about this move, shall we? This move right here, man. This move is ridiculous. I don't know if any other character in the game has a move like this that you could just throw it out and it doesn't go away so that means if your opponent actually catches you and starts doing a combo string it's gonna hit them and it's gonna not only 
get your opponent off you and have them stop their pressure but it's going to leave you at enough hit advantage to where you could probably confirm for a hit which is crazy it's ridiculous so definitely tremor players do that man just there's no reason not to like spam the fuck out of this because it is such a good move it leaves your opponent at so much hit advantage man and of course if you actually hit him with it and you go into a combo is gonna you know just give you a lot more damage for your combo it's really good let's see if i could actually uh, how can i demonstrate this i ah, forget it you guys know the deal like let's just say i call this and kung lao starts doing his um his fist fury combo um it's gonna the rocks are gonna come down on him and it's gonna hit him it's gonna get him off me and then i'm gonna be able to use my seven frame forward advancing move to hit confirm into a combo that's gonna lead to 33 percent you know if the rocks actually hit him It's going to lead to 33% into an unblockable 13%. There you go. That is 46% of your life gone because you were trying to pressure me when I threw the um, the rocks out. So <laughs> it, is, it is insanely good. Like that, just that alone, like makes Tremor one of the best characters in the game. All right. So what I'm going to show you guys now is something called the Flash Parry. And as you guys know, you could actually, um, you know, hold the meter burn, um, you know rock punch and actually cancel it into your run like a run cancel so something that a lot of players are discovering or term players discovered is that if you cancel at certain frames um trimmer actually gets a hit of armor you know so it, it's actually pretty good let, let me just demonstrate it for you guys so we have kung lao here i'm going to use a string that is not safe or you know i'm gonna use a it only works in the straight dash punch by the way so i'm gonna use um Let's see what string okay all right so there you go i got on my first try as you guys see my you know straight punch actually got a hit of armor while i was running and doing a move because um you know you run cancel it so i i believe someone compared it to something that rain had in mk9 where you do an enhanced move and you run cancel it and that actually makes um you know the move or the armor last for a couple more frames so let me show you guys that again as you guys see i absorbed kung lao's hit of armor and i could go into my own combo there you go so that's what flash parry is a lot of people are starting to do that on wake ups now <laughs> which is uh, really smart because um if the opponent has uh, only a move that hits once you know you're gonna be able to flash parry it into you know your full combo so that's something that you could just you know practice and get used to it so that's really good against you know kung lao it doesn't work against every character i don't know why like i, I might be not timing it properly but on some characters it actually does not work but on kung lao as you guys see I'm absorbing his hit of armor because I'm meter burning my straight punch and then run canceling it. So that's what Flash Parry is, and that goes throughout, you know, all the Tremors variations. So one thing with this variation, Aftershock, that is really good. Let's turn this off. Is uh, this right here. This is really annoying. It does 5%, and it is really annoying because you could also meter burn it to launch people. You know 26 percent just like that and of course if you have this that's an extra 13 you know you could do the up rocks into that um this right here is so annoying man i hate playing against aftershock tremors who um know how to play and you know just use this to their advantage it's really hard to get around and aftershock tremor actually has some of the best zoning in the game because this has a really big hitbox of course he has a low all his moves are really fast that was like the buff that they gave him because they did take away his mid they made all his moves insanely fast look at all this he can't even get up um this you know of course if someone tries to jump in you can do that you can do that if someone tries to jump in um 
and you can mix in this you know so this the zoning from aftershock tremor is actually very very good of course like i said meter burn it extra 13 percent your opponent's dead so it's really really good um let's go to the corner now like the I think Aftershock Tremor pretty much covers, um, like, all matchups. Like, Aftershock Tremor, I think, is the most solid, even though um, the Gummy Bear Tremor um, Crystalline actually has the launcher. And I'll show you guys uh, that. Actually, I, I could probably do it right now. Let's switch to Tremor Tremor Burr, because I just wanted uh, to have Kung Lao there to demonstrate you guys a Flash Parry. Tremor. I think... Tremor. Um... Oh fuck, of course we get Sky Temple, right? The worst map in the game. But um the other one, um Metallic, I think it, it's a good variation. Like don't get me wrong, it's it's really good, especially in the in the gold skin, you could actually zone really well. But I think um Aftershock and Crystalline are just, you know, a lot better in my opinion. So let's move to the right side. And show you guys some of the corner stuff, some of the corner setups, basic corner setups that you could use. So let's just say you actually get someone. Whoa, what was that? Let's just say you get someone in a tremor combo. And then you could actually on knockdown, you could call the rocks. You know, you could uh, do that again, mix it with the low. You know, you could do a lot of stuff. Pretty much what you want to do is either. You know, of course, you want to finish your combo in the straight punch. But whenever your opponent is knocked down, if you can finish them off with this, of course, by all means, do it. But if you if you can't, then that leads to a beautiful situation for an up rock setup. And then, you know, they're probably going to expect the low. So you could, you know, go for that. That's not punishable anymore, even though it's slow as hell. Uh, you could go in for your pressure. Uh, of course, you could do that into rock cancel. I said that into rock cancel and you can still actually confirm it even if you rock cancel if you if your opponent stops blocking um the most popular one of course is low because you know overhead overhead to low is pretty hard to block look at that 38 percent into 13 percent and guess what that was just one just one bar of meter um so you i'm just showing you guys like the basics of tremor of course you could go into the lab yourself and just play around with all these setups that this monster of a character has he's really good man and he's a lot of fun to play he, like in my opinion he's one of the most fun characters to play in the game so tremor is uh just overall amazing but you know corner game you could just mess around with uh whatever straight dash punch you know call out your thing and uh just go for that of course you could you know mix them up even more if they block it go for a grab you call your rocks again because even if they do hit you, the rocks are gonna fall on them and um, and get them off you. And then maybe even you could uh, hit confirm it for your own combo, which is ridiculous, man. Uh, so it's all about the up rocks, like setting up this and just tremor in the corner is scary, man. He's a scary character in the corner um, because of this and just all the options that he has. Of course, he could go triple low on you. He could go low, low overhead. He could do just one low. Um, you know, if you're like counter poking, he could do down four into overhead, um, down four into low, you know, combo into low. Just he has so many options that, um, you know, it, he's just really good. So that's pretty much going to be it for Aftershock. Like, the whole point of like these tutorials are mostly just to give you guys the basics of how to play a character and then of course you go in to training mode and learn your learn your own setups and stuff uh but let's go real quick to let's switch over to um aftershock or crystalline tremor like this is the only difference pretty much oh and this this right here actually grants you a hit of armor uh let's see let's go back to this As you guys see right there, he gets a hit of armor. So it's actually pretty good. If you're doing a combo already, 
you know, you could actually absorb a hit of armor from someone like trying to wake up or trying to do an EX reversal, something like that. Uh, Tremor, I think, is the only character that actually give himself a hit of armor, which is really fucking good, man. So that's one like huge change in Crystalline that's actually, um, you know, that affects the variation a lot. Of course, the other one is this one. You know, you could, you could get the uh, this this low is actually a low launcher that is safe on block it's actually plus five on block which is ridiculous and of course um you know it launches for what 31 percent you actually get more but i'm just doing like the absolute basic and if you have another bar meter burn that bitch and get extra damage so you know these these things right here are the only things that you know separate these two in my opinion a lot of people actually think that crystalline is better a better variation um, I tend to go for Aftershock because you can control space a lot more. You have the um, the air low that you could go to. Uh, but a lot of people like like using um, Crystalline Tremor because this is a really good wake up. Uh, this is a really good reversal to you know pretty much counter combos that have gaps in them. Like this is absolutely perfect. You know you do that when interrupting their uh, their combo and you get an easy 31 percent so that's pretty much it guys like this right here is really good too good too like I, do i need to say more guys i think this video is self-explanatory that tremor is a ridiculously good character on all three variations so i just more went over aftershock just because it's the one that i have the most um experience with so you know of course crystalline as well you know all this good stuff and for crystalline uh, if you do get someone knocked down instead of doing the art rocks you know you could power up and give yourself um, you know armor and stuff like this and then you go in for your pressure you could absorb a hit of armor you know so it's really good so that's it guys that's gonna be it for the tremor tutorial of course you guys could already tell just by me talking about this character he's insanely good he's definitely one of the top five characters or uh, I would probably say he's in the top seven characters in the game. Like, all his variations are good. Crystalline and Aftershock are ridiculously good. And, uh, you know, he has a lot of tools. So, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment if you guys have any questions, of course. And I'll try to answer them. But, that's going to be it. I will see you guys next time.